Hey Sweet Friends and welcome back to my channel. Yes, today we are tackling these large seasonal signs. I have used these on countless, a countless number of DIYs and I have a ton of ideas, but I want to bring you some new fun things that you can make with these signs because these have a ton of potential. They are an awesome size for just a buck and so many things you can create with them. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. Make sure you are subscribed and let's go ahead and jump on into these DIYs. So first up, I have some old leftover Christmas signs that I didn't get around to using. And this is a hack that I love to do with these. And that is to piece multiple um, signs together to make larger signs. So this first DIY is going to be a beautiful outdoor porch sign that I just love how it turned out so much. But I am piecing together these three Christmas signs. I do like to flip them opposite ways so that all of the holes aren't on one side or the little mark from the staples and I decided to piece these together with something a little bit more heavier duty since this is going outside so I am using these long slim signs that I picked up from Dollar Tree and adding some wood glue as well as some hot glue so that the hot glue will kind of hold it in place until the wood glue dries or this is actually liquid nails so you can use it on multiple things but this just gives it an extra tight hold and just using the hot glue can make the sun heat that up and it will it will become loose. So definitely use that second type of glue. And then I love to flip this over and give it a nice base coat. So I'm using white chalk paint. I tried not to paint it perfect so it does have a little bit of a rustic look. And then I always recommend going back in and painting the back later on, especially if this is on a porch. Um, whenever you get into high winds or something, if this gets knocked over, you don't want anyone seeing the back side of this or that you're repurposing signs. So take the extra time to paint the back. And then it was the best part of all when you get to decorate this sign. I have these gorgeous sunflower decals from Dollar Tree or they were wall stickers but they were beautiful. I even love the little bees that came with it. So I stuck all of those down and then I am using some Hobby Lobby wood. Well, they're actually just sticker paper um, stickers, but they have this wood design on them. Then that is gorgeous. Um, so if you wanted to upgrade, you could use these, but you also can just use the regular Dollar Tree black letters or poster stickers. So I try to work my way from the center to the edges whenever I am applying stickers like this or lettering, especially if I have a tight space to fit it in. And then I thought it would be really cute to put the porch in all caps. And then I have this really fun outdoor Mod Podge. Um, I'm not sure really what the difference is. I haven't tested it or anything, but you probably could just add an extra coat of your normal Mod Podge to your sign. I'm just wanting to make sure that these removable wall stickers like the sunflowers are not going to be removable. So I ended up doing a couple of coats of this outdoor Mod Podge until it was fully covered, but I am in love with this sign. It is so beautiful and I love that pop of color for outside on the porch. How fun is it that we were able to take those leftover Christmas signs that are just causing clutter in the closet and turn them into a gorgeous decor piece that you can enjoy all year. Next up, I am using another winter and Christmas sign. Um, this one's actually really, really cute, but I had multiple of the same design. So I was gonna use this. I always like to start by removing all of the 3D pieces on the front, and then I always flip it over to use the back. You just get a nice, clean slate to work with, and your paint goes on really smooth. Um, but once again, I always recommend painting the back or covering that in craft paper if it is going inside. So for this, I'm kind of doing the same thing. Actually, on all of these projects, I ended up choosing white a lot. I just love using white and especially applying it on these wood signs or these wood uh, colored signs because I love the wood color popping through um, the streaks of the paint. So I wanted to create a wooden frame for this sign. So a really cool hack that you can do is use the Dollar Tree Tower Blocks, these little wooden pieces. And this takes just a couple of minutes to line up the edges, but it will make this beautiful frame to actually 
actually create like gorgeous wall art that you can hang on the wall. Very easy and lightweight using command strips and it only costs a couple of bucks. So where can you go to get a huge sign like this for a couple of bucks rather than if you just make it yourself? So it did get a little tricky. The blocks weren't lining up perfect in the middle. So I'm using a pair of my miter shears. I will link those down below. I get a lot of questions about them, but they are awesome to have for especially cutting small pieces like this and dowel rods. This, it does take a little bit of extra strength to cut these blocks though. So keep that in mind. And then I am staining this with some of my favorite flagstone stain. Now it was time to line up all of these blocks. So just doing the same thing and kind of placing them back where they need to go. But a really cool trick is if you glue them together and line them up to the edge of the sign. This is not where they are permanently going to stay. I'm actually going to glue them to the wood on top. But this helps you get a perfect edge and everything is just nice and even. And then I'll go back in and add that to the outside of the sign. And this is the perfect blank canvas that you can add in any word or quote using your Cricut or hand lettering something or painting something. Um, but this is perfect for farmhouse signs. You could turn this into like a boho sign. But I picked up this blessed wall decal from Dollar Tree. I just love how bold and cursive the font was. So it shows up really nice against the white and the wood. So I go ahead and use my little scraper tool to get that nice and pressed down tight. And then once again, Again, because this is a removable wall sticker I don't want it peeling up at all and I want to be able to wipe this off if it gets dusty hanging on the wall so giving it a coat of Mod Podge so everything will be nice and sealed in but this is so beautiful to create and get that gorgeous wooden frame using Dollar Tree items So excited to move on from Christmas signs, but I just recently picked these up a couple of months back and they were these St. Patrick's Day welcome signs. So I wanted to do this hack video or these this genius ways how to use these signs because there is so many things you could do with them so obviously my favorite thing to do is to create large wall art with these and the perfect way to piece these together if you are going to just put a couple together and hang them up on the wall is by using these giant popsicle sticks that you can find at walmart and then i flip them over and fill in the little holes with some spackle that one piece of the sign is a little bit darker because i was testing some stain once but i'm excited to go ahead and get to reuse this sign even though I tested out my stain on it. But I am going to go ahead and use my white paint and just um, very carefully put it all over the sign but leaving a few thin spots so you can see some of that darkish color shining through. I think it is beautiful. And then for this sign I am going to put it up and down and I wanted those wood pieces so it looked higher quality and like an actual palette sign. So using my miter box and saw um, which I definitely recommend recommend picking one of these up too. It is perfect for all of your small little woodworking pieces or crafts that you want to put together. I trimmed down some Walmart paint sticks that fit perfect and go ahead and make them blend in by dry brushing over them with some more white paint. And now comes the fun part when you get to decorate your palette sign. So I picked out this wooden love sign, which came from Target Dollar Spot, but you can use any type of word. Dollar Tree has out a ton of words right now in wood and in metal. And then also using a Dollar Tree um, little wooden crate. And I am staining this once again with some of my light colored stain. And I love this wood color on my white signs because it really pops. It kind of has that boho farmhouse look to it and a really like soft wood color. So I am in love with this stain. It just makes everything look like really high end and a lot better, I think.
I played around with them until I liked where they went and then hot glued everything down in place. And then I'm gonna be adding in some greenery and some faux floral from Dollar Tree that I thought was so beautiful. I actually went with purple for this project, um, but I feel like it is just a perfect color. It gives it a pop of color for spring, but also kind of a subtle color that mixes in with all of your neutrals. These specific eucalyptus um, floral picks came from Walmart, but everything else came from a Dollar Tree. You can add more command strips and hang this up on the wall, but I feel like it gives it an extra touch of detail and a gorgeous finish. If you drill holes through the top of the wood sign, put in some nautical rope and tie it in the front. So if you leave the knots in the front, I feel like that is beautiful and gives it a rustic farmhouse look and just that extra little thing at the top to make it look all put together. But I love how this sign turned out. My husband even loved it so much. I do hang, have it hanging on my wall and I I will definitely leave it. I think it is so beautiful and just, I don't know, just makes me so happy to look at it and know that this only costed a few bucks and we used mostly dollar store items. And then sharing another awesome way to make a larger sign. This is one of my favorites. I'm using some leftover Easter signs this time, but you can pretty much see that all of these signs they put out every season is pretty much uniform. You're getting around the same size. Sometimes the ends are kind of cut out to look like fake planks of wood, and sometimes they are straight and even. So you can just pick out any of these, but I usually pick up a couple each season, so I do accumulate quite a bit of these. So I am excited to get to use them and share with you all all these awesome new ways to make new signs and wall art and just some really fun decor pieces. So I painted it white and then this was so funny. I wanted to spell out the word home with these wooden letters from Walmart, but they didn't have an E. So I am using an F and I am going to trace all of these letters and then paint them down. And then I'm going to hold on to these letters until they have an E the next time I'm there and I'll get to use them for another project. So really fun. I made these multi-purpose and then I added a welcome sign. This was probably from fall or the Easter um, signs and I'm going to be gluing that to the top and then I wanted to paint these letters black so I did go over them with a black paint marker just to make sure that I'm not going to get any of the paint out of the lines. After I made sure I didn't mess up on the home, I glued down the welcome to the top. You can use some E6000 if you want to. And then I wanted to share with you how you can make this an interchangeable sign. All you have to do is add a little bit of Velcro and then Velcro to each item. But I personally love adding a small little wreath in for the O. So I had this little wreath ring. I think it came from Hobby Lobby. And then I had some leftover eucalyptus pieces that I decided to add on the bottom of the wreath. I had this little burlap rose I added to the bottom. And then using a hook um, that I just kind of folded out a little bit more. I stuck that on the sign and I will be able to change this out with some different themed wreaths. I can make one for fall and Christmas, but this is a huge, gorgeous sign using those leftover Easter signs that I knew I would have had to toss out if I didn't put them to good use.
All of these signs were so much fun to put together and share with you how I got to reuse all of my seasonal signs, but there are tons of different ways that you can use these. I have used these so many different ways in the past, everything from laundry signs to porch decor and just so much in between. You can even cut them down to make different sizes, but so many things you can do with these. And definitely let me know in the comments down below what you have used these signs for. And I love that Dollar Tree does put these out because like I said, they are a large sign just for a dollar. So you're getting a lot of service area to work with. I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I had a ton of fun trying to come up with different ideas using these huge signs. They are so nice to pick up and have on hand for just a buck because you can make like larger DIYs and it feels like you're getting more bang for your buck. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting. Bye.